what is going on. Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. I hope you guys enjoyed a quick little exhaust note because it's the last time you're going to hear it. We're getting rid of this thing. Let me go show you the new Jeep that we are going to be purchasing. Are you guys ready? It's white. It's got four doors. There it is. It's like, I wish. I just saw this in the lot when I pulled up. Thought I'd make a quick little joking intro. But before we go get started on the Jeep, let's walk around this lot quick. We got a Maserati, we got a C6 Z06. I see a GT500 right here. Oh, mm, she nice. Oh, I didn't, this, that, at least that's a Coyote, it didn't look like one. We got a Porsche here with some mint 1552s. What? That's crazy. But look at this thing. Look at this thing. amazing that's the stuff that comes through the shop well not through the shop it gets detailed over there but sometimes they get cool cars like that but all jokes aside xj is going on the lift jku is not ours but there is a yj that is a questionable purchase now i don't have all the money right now my dad might even buy this thing but it's got the 4.2 liter in it it's auto and it's clean but enough of other vehicles let's get into the xj all right so if you did not know jeep week is not this upcoming friday next friday but anyways if you did not know jeep week is next week i will be going down thursday night i'm doing the off-road course friday beach crawl tuesday or uh, sorry beach crawl saturday and beach off-road course saturday so what we're doing today is we're starting like last minute Jeep stuff. Right now we're just gonna do some like maintenance stuff. We're gonna get an oil change in. We should check the fluids in the T case and transmission. And I'm gonna try swapping out this U joint and this front drive shaft because of course it's not gonna do it. This one's shot, it's 100% shot. This one's getting there. It's got a little play in it. Yeah, I know, right from the middle. Yeah. Front output. And this leaks too. Rear output. That's the one we replaced when we got this. Oh, look at those nice shiny new floorboards. Look at the rest of the rust. Oh, that don't matter. Um, Seriously, I think I want to get sheet metal and literally fill in where it has the gap at underneath. Oh well, yeah. Um. Damn, look at that hole that f***ing hole. And this is still, this is under the seat. This, yeah, this I, we still need. I, I've just been letting it hang, so the Jeep's been looking really trashy for the past, I don't even know how many weeks it's been. And there's still, I mean, this thing's like, this thing's trash. There's probably, it's gonna be a lot of work to save it. But it might all be, wow, that's really bad. I did not. That's crazy. That is, that's actually, that's very unsafe. That's the unibody, which if you do not know, XJs are unibodies instead of a frame that's attached to the body. A frame, the body just sits right on, a body of the vehicle just sits right on the frame. Unibodies are weak. I don't know what the hell that is. But like I said, we're going to get into some maintenance. I'm going to actually, we're going to wait for it to cool down a little bit. We're gonna wait for it to cool down a little bit more, but I'm gonna get started on taking this front drive shaft and U joint out. All right, so I took the drive shaft out and in the process of knocking the U joint out, I've never seen this, but the cap actually cracked. Uh, here's the other half to it. Like I've never seen that before and it, like, it, it came out fine, but it's just crazy that the cap cracked and obviously the bearings are dross, are rusted and dried out. Um, I did just grease this because my brother said this this hefty thing needed grease, so we just greased that. But we're gonna put the U joint back in. He got all the hanging shit underside, whatever the previous owner did to this to cover up the rust. He got all that off. But I mean. Here's the road sign that somebody put in there at some point. But I mean, 
there's no empty holes really going into the cabin. It's just everything underneath the floor on the structural side really is just not there. And especially like, like, like I said already, that's terrible. Um, this, like my unibody's not even attached to anything on this side. Like it's just, it's terrible, but I'll fix it eventually all. It just takes lots and lots of time when it's your daily driver, when you don't have lots of money to throw at it. This U joint's gonna need replaced before I go down because it squeaks, it's loud. And maybe at some point we'll make the Jeep quieter because the girlfriend complains about how loud it is. But we'll see. She's a screamer. All right, U joint is in, it moves around. These ones don't have any play, so I'm like, I'm not gonna even mess with them. They seem good. Like I said, the back one, um, the back one squeaks a little bit. We'll worry about that later. Transfer case is good. Transmission is still overfilled because I remember last year or two years ago when I checked the trans fluid, it did leak out from the very top. My brother just checked it again. It still leaks out from the top, so it's overfilled. We didn't do it. Probably needs change though. It's got two years of mud in there. It's been asked for me. Yeah. You don't even know how many years of driving is in before it. I don't even know how old this clutch is or how many miles are on it. The dude that I bought it from didn't know. It's the truckers. Yeah. I don't know. This had to have been a part at some point. Cause that's not factory. That's a reman trans. You can tell just from how new it is still. Still. Other than all the oil on it. As you can tell though, we're getting the oil changed now, oil filters coming off, draining it. So then the necessities, the drivability, reliability wise, whatever stuff is good. Um I do I would really like to get in a temperature gauge before Jeep Week, but we got this weekend. And if I don't get this other job, I'm taking off Thursday and Friday next week. But if I get this other job, then I'll probably I'm hoping to have all of next week off to do whatever the, the heck I need. Which, real quick, this little guy in here was leaking. So my tire went from 35 pounds to 14 pounds of air over I don't even know how much time, but it's tight now. So when I leave, I need to fill that up. I need to remember that. U joint is in. Clips are in, dry shaft is in. She's solid. This part back here, you can't even see it, no light. It's a big knuckle. Just imagine a big, this is small, this is small. That's big. Imagine a big, heavy knuckle. That sucks putting back on, it's so heavy. And then with these stock arms, we had to lift up the axle to get that back in. Take the caps off, lift the axle up and slide that back in, force it back in kind of. Pain in the butt. Um, but part one is done. I just got to put air back in this tire, which I just probably go over to sheets and do it. Um, I need to wash it. I mean, it is raining. It might get a little clean. I definitely, I need to spray this whole thing off. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. If you are going to be at Jeep Week or if you would want to be at Jeep Week or if you can't wait to see Jeep Week content, comment down below. Let me know. Um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Be looking out for part two or whatever the hell comes next. If you are new to the channel, I don't know if I already said this, hit that subscribe button. We have surpassed 1,200 subscribers. Thank you guys very much. Oh, here's some floor. But, oh, I just remembered my freaking window doesn't, it fell all the way down. It's not on track at all anymore. And it's raining. Crap. Oh, well, guess I'll just deal with it. Um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Peace out.